My goal here is to create a well at my off-grid cabin and uh, I've already taken a look at the area. I know that I should hit the water table somewhere between 15 and 20 some feet. I should have uh, enough pipe to do that. Uh, I'm going to try to do this on my own. Luckily, it's uh, I'm already warmed up. It's like 95 degrees out right now and uh, uh, I went around with uh, my divining rods. I have no idea what I'm doing with divining rods, but I figured if it if it was obvious and like Niagara Falls was here, I would find it. But uh, I had a couple of possible hits or I did something silly. Um, and so I'm going to basically just go where I was planning on going anyways, just because it's more convenient. So what I'm planning on doing is taking that and a shovel, that thing I think was made in the 1850s, um, and I'm going to dig as deep as I can comfortably so that I don't have to stand too darn high up on anything in order to pound with that. Um, somehow I lost one of those so hopefully I'll get to the water table at about 20 feet or something like that. Um, there's my cool pitcher pump, neighbor uh, letting me know that he's here. Those are my really cool divining rods. I made them myself obviously and uh, this is my uh, one and a quarter inch pipe and we'll see how well this works. Right here is the uh, sand point uh, drill and we'll also see how well that works. Now what you might notice which is kind of cool it's sandy. I'm hoping that that means that it's going to be easy peasy to uh, to drill this thing in or to pound it in. We'll see. All right, the way I'm going to prepare this is I'm going to use, this just happened to be the only thing I had in the house, I brought it here. I'm pretty lucky because I can uh, drive here, you know, and they're nice, jeez, dummy. All right, then do the same thing. Basically to this, just so that we get a good seal. That should work. The deal is, whoops, if any of these seals fail, it's going to suck. Well, or it won't suck, and that's worse. Now, when I get over there, I'm going to tighten it so that uh, it never comes loose. It's not so bad actually because I dug because I dug the hole so deep it's really not that bad. I should be able to get on top of that and knock it down. Alright, let's start. Six feet down. Six. And a lot. <laughs> I took
took a little bit of a break and went for a hike in the woods and uh, luckily I brought back all of the deer flies so that's exciting um, it <laughs> seriously that's cool um, this is tiring work but uh, but I'm getting somewhere slowly Jeez. I'm at over 10 feet right now, and I was guessing that the water table was somewhere between 8 and 15 feet. Um, I'm only going to 10 feet right now just because I'm tired and it's 8.30 and uh, I don't want to disturb the animals. Um, actually, I'm just tired. So what I'm going to do is I have a, the best thing I could find is this, uh, it's actually just a, uh, saw blade attached to a rope and I'm going to drop it down here and not lose it all right and that's the bottom Tie a little knot in it so that you can measure the distance and then pull it up without losing uh, the uh, weight and if you start to feel water that's a good sign I'm not feeling any water I'm feeling water I don't know if you can see that but that's water so I've hit water that's actually pretty cool uh, I'll drill it down a little bit deeper tomorrow and then I will put the pump on and see if I can get any suction and see uh, see if it works. It looks like it. I'm actually excited right now. I kind of want to do the whole thing, but uh, my arms are falling apart. I feel like noodles. Um, that's so awesome. It 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 might have worked. Sweet. All right. It's day two and uh, it's about 70 degrees so it's absolutely beautiful it's uh, 9 in the morning and uh, because I've hit water what I'm going to do at this point is because this well is actually not meant to drink directly from it's actually meant for uh, washing for a garden and uh, after purification we can drink it I don't have to go as deep and so once I hit water I'm just gonna see if I can pump it at this point, I could use the cap that I had, the red cap, uh, with a sledgehammer uh, because it's so low it's hard to get to. But instead, because I'm so worried about damaging the threads, I'm just going to kind of get on my knees and pound from here. <laughs> and the 12-year-old in me just laughed. That's just kind of fun. So I'm not getting anywhere with the uh, regular host pounder because it's just awkward right now. So I decided to, since I have it, I might as well put this cap on and try to whack it a couple of times with the sledgehammer and see if I can get it down just a few more inches. I don't know if it will be more efficient or not, uh, but just something different. Uh, my arms are tired from yesterday. Now I'm going to attach the, uh, the pump and see if it works. Just the fact that it screws on is a good sign. I, I really don't care about what direction it's facing. Except that I'd like it that way. Then 
I'm going to have to prime it and pump and see if we can get water to come up. Get some water. Need water to get water. Water. <laughs> 